guys. How are you guys doing? Uh, happy weekend. It's finally weekend. Uh, one day rest from college. Um, I had in my comment box, in my reply box, that uh, you guys are having a little confusion about which books to study in medicine and where to study anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. So I'm, this video is all just going to deal with all the books that I prescribably study myself. And uh, as everyone is different, so everyone may have different ideas about which books they would like and everything. So this is all about the books I'm going to tell you. And I'll tell you all other books that are available too, but I didn't study it. So if you guys want to see there and maybe you can understand from there, uh, you can do it from there too. Um, well, first of all, uh, when you enter medical school, it's a whole new phase in life. You're a whole different atmosphere. Your teachers won't like, they will tell you you can study from any book you want. Like, uh, for example, let's pick anatomy. So there will be tons of books you have to study. Like there will be Snell's, BD or Gray's or whatever books. And you will be like, which book to study, right? So <laughs> that is how medical is going to be. So um, let's start with the books and first of all I'm going to give you about the anatomy book section and I'm going to tell you how to do it and how you prescribably study for it so that you guys become great doctors and for more videos like a script right subscribe my channel please. All right uh, let's start with first of all the basis of anatomy. Now uh, here is my book uh, you can see this one this is known as uh, what is this? <laughs> Sorry. This is general anatomy. So before going into the regions like your upper limb, lower limb, thorax, uh, every medical college, um, they start with a general anatomy. Um, the book that is the textbook and I prescribably follow is this book. That is the author name is B.D. Chirasi. And this is his book of general anatomy. So I prescribe all of you guys that for general anatomy, you all do from this book because there is no other book for general anatomy other than this book. Um, there is another book that is uh, like Hussain's general anatomy, but I prescribably did study it myself as well. But I was not able to like understand it. It was like quite complicated. You were not able to pick it up. So for me, uh, I really like BD and I did GA from there. So but it depends on you wherever you guys want it do it right um now uh we have the regions right okay uh for uh before going into the regions one thing you all must have whether which textbook you follow one thing all of you guys must have is this book that is wait, this one oh, sorry uh atlas of uh what is it? atlas of human anatomy this is netter's atlas and all medical students should have this book Right. Uh, this is no memorization book, so do not get scared that you have to be memorizing from this book. Uh, this is basically an atlas. Let me show you. Wait. Like, mm, let me give you give you an example. Like you said, you know. Like for example, uh, like uh, when you will study with your lower limb. Lower limb. Look, you can see this whole course of your nerve, tibial nerve. This is all going to be described in your books. But it will give you a very good concept about where the nerve is actually starting and where it's going to end. Right? So you all must have Netter's Atlas. And it does, this one is not going to help you just in your first year. This is going to help you all as long as you study anatomy. So everyone should have this Netter's Atlas. Um, okay, and the second thing you guys should have is now with the textbook. Now for anatomy, like anatomy is basically a subject where you can study tons of books, right? Um, but every, I, everyone said, I said in the first video in the first couple of time that every student is different, right? Every human being is different from the other. Um, there will be some students who will be like, just to the point, they should know the course. There will be some students who will want to go more deep into it that, oh, okay, now it's stop there, then where it's going to go, right? So everyone is different. So I would not prescribe, we said, all of you that the way the book which worked for me will work for you because maybe you're different from me. So I'm going to give you a list about the other anatomy books as well and also the book I study for my anatomy. Uh, first of all, which book I studied for anatomy, which was quite to my level, like it was for my first year level and my second year level. And it was like to the point, it was easy as well. And it was like, like not too much, not too less. It was just uh, exactly there. 
And that was this book. Um, well, it's not in good shape right now. Uh, it's basically about Snell's, Richard Snell's anatomy. So I prescribably uh, studied all of my anatomy from Snell's, right? And also I followed my atlas. Um, I'm going to make a video about how you study each and every subject um, separately, like how you study anatomy, physio, so you guys will, don't have to worry how you study it. Right now, this is all only going to deal about the books. So I studied for anatomy is the this book that is known as the Snell's Anatomy. Now, there are, like I said, that maybe you will not... Um, be comfortable with your anatomy and with snails you will want more details you want to go more into deep or more into like come on we have to kill this leg or kill this hand or whatever right so for that book uh we have one two detailed books um i have one that is this book wait a second you have a tv show as well like that gray's anatomy <laughs> oh uh and this is what gray's anatomy right this is gray's anatomy for students um, you can get this as well. This book is a lot of detail. So if you want to go into like depth about it, this book is very much like if you want, if you are like a very detailed student who want to know very much like each and every depth about it that why they're right or what this or like whatever you guys want, then Grace is your book. But if you want to go like just, uh, to the point, everything, okay, it goes there, okay, we don't want to go into depth about it, then Snell's is the great choice. And if you want to go more into detail from more than Grace, then you have another one that is B.D. Chirassia book, uh, where you can study your regions as well. Now, as I first said that everyone is different, so whichever books, the way you guys want to study, like how you study detailed or less detail, it's all up to you. But these are the three books for studying for your uh, anatomy. But if you study from Snell's or Grace or B.D., Netter, you guys must have, because if you do not have Netter, you don't know anatomy, all right? And um, then what we have here is that, wait, the table is all that stuff. <laughs> um, now we have the other subject, we have a branch of anatomy, that is the histology. Um, basically, you know, all of you, what is histology? It is basically tissue structure, like epithelium tissue, like, wait, I'll show you, so you guys do not get confused. Like, for example, what is this? Great. Uh, neurons like you want to study about the nervous tissue in detail so the tissue the nervous tissue you're gonna study from this right that where you study the tissue that is known as histology and the book everyone and I also studied is from uh, diaphoric atlas which is written atlas of histology this gives you very clear concepts about what histology is about as well and will really help you understand it and will help you in exceeding in your histology section um, now, in, there is no actually textbook of histology. There are other short books of it. Um, I prescribably do not uh, follow short books so much because if you do not have concepts, you're just like memorizing it. You do not have any idea what's going on. So even if you guys want to do the short books, first at least go through the textbooks first. Like first go through these big books one time so that when you come to the short book you may have some idea about according to the big book that oh this was it and this is just a summary um for histology you have other short books which include there was um like Hossain's histology um there is dr amr's histology and there is your fidos histology right these are the three other short books for histology as well so if you like do not get so much like you're not so much sure that by starting with the atlas you will be able to succeed the greatest number in histology you can also go to those other books as well it's all up to you okay all right uh then we have the last branch of anatomy the third branch of anatomy that is the general anat not <laughs> it's uh embryology sorry it's embryo tada <laughs> Well, uh, embryo is basically about the human, bo what is this, baby, <laughs> embryo, okay? Um, the book, well, this is actually the greatest, not the greatest, I have not studied this book. This is Langman. This is basically the textbook for uh, embryology. So, like, it's real, it's a very tough book, okay? Um, but let me tell you one thing. Like, if you study from this book, it will give you a really good, like, concepts. It will make your concepts really clear about it. It is. It has some tough wordings, um, it, but it will, like, really help. Now, there will be some student. Oh, that will make, and I'll make another video as well that how you study in medical, all right? Um, this is basically your textbook of your embryology section. That is the Langsmang Medical Embryology. 
Um, now there are some students like, and there is some other book as well. Wait, uh, it is Shergill's, I guess. Yeah, Shergill's. Uh, Shergill's embryology book is also another book for studying embryo. And you have a third one that is the e most easy, which is these notes. You have these photocopy notes that will cover all your course of first year and second year. This name of these notes, uh, these are very easy and will help you like conceptual conceptualize you as well and make it easy for you to memorize as well. And easy words like your FSCs, high school, med school ones. Uh, the name of these notes are Alimtia's notes of embryology. Right, so that was all for the books of anatomy. Um, it's up to you guys, uh, whichever books you guys like. And if you're still confused, you can leave on the comment box below the name of the book and I can tell you whether it's a good book or not. Uh, so do not feel shy, just like uh, make me as your friend and just comment on it below so I will know what your problem is. All right, um, so that was all for anatomy books. Okay, so you don't have to buy these whole books, okay? It's up to you. Uh, the things, books you must have is basically uh, one book for general anatomy, one book for your anatomy regions like upper limb, lower limb. You can have snails, you have you have grays or BD. Another atlas you guys must have, all of you. Um, histology, it's up to you. You want to use the atlas or you want to go to the short books, up to you guys. And for embryology, also up to all you guys. All right, so that was all for a brief book summary or bo uh, book history about anatomy region. Now coming to the next subject of medical school, that is your physiology lesson. Guide in. <laughs> well, there's only this one huge book about physiology, and that blows your mind. <laughs> um, and I'm going to show you that book. That is basically, that is only the one textbook, and, but it's really, like, great. And that is this book. Ta -da. <laughs> uh, this is basically guidance, okay? Uh, this is the book of physiology. It is a very, very, very great and good book. You can never have any good book than Mr. Guidance's book. Um, this is for physiology. Um, uh, it is really good for physiology. And there is no other book uh, that I would prescribe, and there is no other book that is available for physiology. Um, it gives you really good concepts. It makes you very much aware about what's happening in the human body, how everything is working, mechanisms, everything. And it's really interesting as well. Um, then there is another text, short books as well. Um, that is called As For Those. Um, it is like a small book with some green or purple color, but it's written for those on it. Or you can just go by your nearby text medical bookstores and you can just ask for, for those books and they will give it to you, right? So, but that is really short, okay? Like if this book, first chapter is of like, for example, eight pages, then that short book, it is only for one page. But for that book, you will have to memorize it. You cannot understand from that short book. For understanding, like if you want to just conceptualize yourself that what is going on, this book is your best friend. If you want to do memorization, go for that book. But I would prescribe you all that please one time go through this book. And how you study for this book, I'll make another video. But for physiology, I prescribe you subscribe Mr. Guidance book. All right. Uh, that was for your physiology book. Now we have the last one. That is the biochemistry, the most boring biochem. <laughs> um, this is the book. Yeah, this heavy book. Ooh. <laughs> it is basically Mr. Not Mr. It's a boy, right? Right. Uh, Mr. Satya's book. This is Satya book for biochemistry. Now there is obviously um, our textbook is basically Lippin Court for biochemistry as described from our universities. But Lippin Court is like, oh, like what is going on? Huh? <laughs> you will not be able to understand. Like I was not able to understand, but as I said, everyone is different. So maybe you guys will be able to understand. But this book is really good, very according to your level, basic concepts and will easily make your concepts. Now there are other books as well for biochemistry. Uh, you have Lippincourt book, you have Punkett Nayak's book, you have Harper's book, uh, you have there's another book as well. Wait a second. Chatterjee. Chatterjee book is as well for your biochem. And you have a short book for it that is the Fike or Pinky of biochemistry. It is instant biochemistry Fike, uh, light blue color. 
Um, I really do not have right now. They're available here. Um, but I'll send those photos of the two short books for those and your biochemistry facts so you guys will be able to understand it. Um, but I prescribably studied myself in my med school with biochemistry of Satya. But it's up to you guys, uh, whichever books you guys want to study. Right. Um, okay. Now I think... Uh, and that was all about the books. I hope that I was able to tell you and make you a very easy, like, guide you guys about how to, which books were for which particular subject. Okay, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little bit about it, that, like, how you study for your biochemistry, your physiology, and your anatomy sections, um, in my next videos because this video was I only wanted to make it for all those my followers who commented to help them in the book section so I hope that this video will be for all my followers and all those people who had some problems in how and which books to study from so hope you guys get great books and feel free to ask any questions you guys want um Anything, like if there's any video I missed and you're studying that in your college section or anything, do let me know so I can make that video for you guys to help you. Um, very good luck to all of my new med school med students, uh, med colleagues, my colleagues. Uh, good luck for you guys and hope that you get your books and I'll make my videos for how to study, particularly for each and every subject. So you guys have a really good and welcome to med school. <laughs> So, and uh, what else should I tell you guys? Um, yeah, I'll make other videos about how to do it in med school. But if you like this video, do subscribe my channel. Give a thumbs up. Thanks.